Hi everyone, my name is Suzanne and I'm a Chinese metaphysics master in Hong Kong. Uh, today I'm going to talk about what sort of mental blocks are stopping you from reaching your goal in 2023. Now we're a few months into this year already. Um, it's indeed we're moving into the fifth month of the uh, rabbit year. And by now you know whether you are on track to reach the goals that you've set yourself for 2023 or whether there's just something that is holding you back. And maybe you see your friends reaching their goals and uh, you know having a really, really easy time at uh, fulfilling their New Year's resolutions. And for some reason, it just doesn't work for you. And that may have something to do with your Bowser chart because there are five animal signs that you can have in your Bowser chart that will somehow prevent you from reaching the goals that you've set yourself. And uh, being aware of what those mental blocks are can actually help you get you back on track. So we're going to look at this today and hopefully set you on the right track or get you back on track to actually do all those things that you wanted to do in 2023. Now, first things first, as always, you need to plot your Bowser chart. So you can go to this link here. I will also post it to the notes to this video. And uh, ideally, if you have your time of birth, that would be great because we do actually need all four animal signs and all four pillars in this chart. But don't panic if you don't know your time of birth. Yeah, just enter whatever you have. Go to this link, plot your chart, and then check the animal signs that you have in your chart. And we are actually looking at all of them. So we are looking here at this part. This is called the earthly branches. And you will see you have one for the year, one for the month, one for the day and one for the hour. Now this person here, born in the year of the tiger, the month of the rooster, on a pig day and in a horse hour. So it's uh, it's important that you see what kind of animals you have there because there are, as I mentioned, five animal signs uh, that you may have in your chart that could sort of derail you and um, block you or stop you from reaching your goals as quickly as you want or at all. Now, the first one that we need to look at is the rooster. So if you have a rooster anywhere in your chart, it doesn't matter whether in the year, month, day, or hour, you have the rooster somewhere in your chart, then your block this year is, is that you may be a little bit too dramatic. There's a lot of changes anyway for you this year, but if you are too dramatic about it, um, then um, you become too sensitive and you blow everything out of proportion and basically, you're just a drama queen. So um, you need to tone it down a little bit because all that drama is not just annoying for everyone else around you, but it also costs you money. Yeah, if you blow everything out of proportion, this has the potential to cost you money. And then this can create a block as well. So it's not just a mental block, but it can then also turn into a financial block. So for those with the rooster in the chart, Make sure that whatever happens, whatever change is coming, whatever challenge is coming your way, just stay grounded. Yeah, Don't blow it out of proportion. Don't make it bigger than it actually is. Maybe um, talk to some friends or someone with a bit of a more neutral view of things and you'll be fine. Now, the next one that can throw you off your path is the pig. If you have the pig in the chart this year, then you tend to be a little bit too paranoid about pretty much everything. Yeah, whether that's business or personal life, you're just too paranoid. You're afraid of everything because you always imagine the worst. It's always the worst case scenario. You always think of failure first and you're basically overthinking things. What you need to do is just simplify. Yeah, and, and kind of reframe your minds to not think about the worst. Yes, you can have a backup plan, of course. You can have a plan B. But think of the best outcome, of the best scenario, and then just plan for that while having a backup plan. It's fine, but don't overthink. Don't be so scared of everything. And just make some bold moves, and you will see uh, you're actually okay. Nothing bad is happening to you. Um, the third one we want to be careful with is the ox. So if you have the ox in the chart, then... Um, you may just need to control your words a little bit better this year because you speak without thinking and then you often just say the wrong thing at the wrong time to the wrong person. 
you may be brutally honest and sometimes that's what's needed but in this year it may actually damage your personal life personal relationships your career as well so you have to filter a little bit um and just really don't don't blurt everything out just like that just just filter and ensure that you say uh what's appropriate or a else you may actually risk losing relationships losing friends maybe even losing your job yeah if you say the wrong thing because someone pissed you off at work so be a bit careful and um think before you speak now the fourth animal sign that may create some mental blocks is the dragon so if you have the dragon in your chart then you are prone to procrastination this year everything uh, you're just going to push up with it push on to the next day or the next week and it never gets done so you may have a great plan for 2023 and a lot of goals but it's sort of like uh lots of words but no action yeah and nothing happens because you don't take action so then at the end of the year you may find yourself looking back at 2023 and think oh man nothing happened like everything i wanted to do uh just kind of fell apart but that's because you procrastinated so much so you need to take steps small steps towards those goals and do not procrastinate. Once you actually set things in motion, you will see that everything is working out just the way you want it. Um, just get out of your headspace and actually turn your thoughts into action. And then lastly, we have the snake. So those who have the snake in the chart, anywhere in your chart, you are just a little bit naive this year. Um, you sort of... Um, tend to believe everything everyone says to you and so you easily get cheated uh you just yeah you easily believe scams you easily believe lies and um while you know in personal life um that may just be very hurtful but if it happens in business or in your career you could actually lose a lot of money so um don't trust everything and everyone all the time i mean it's good to believe in the good in people but be a little bit more discerning and if something sounds too good to be true if you have the snake in the chart then it's most likely too good to be true so you know you may run it by someone who has uh, a bit more of an objective view and definitely someone who doesn't have the snake in the chart otherwise they will believe it too so just run it by someone else before you commit to something or someone all right so these are the mental blocks that could happen in 2023, depending on those animal signs, if you have them in the chart. And as I said, with awareness comes the solution. So all you need to do is just um, reevaluate things a little bit and look at them from a different angle. And you may actually still be able to achieve all those goals and um, the New Year's resolutions that you've set for yourself. All right, I hope this helped. If you have any questions, as usual, just put your comments in the comments below. If you have questions as well, always welcome. You can contact me directly as well. My email address is in the notes to this video. And I would really appreciate it if you liked the video, if you shared it with someone who may be interested, and if you subscribe to my channel. See you guys soon.